Alright guys, so the Fallout Worlds update just came out in Fallout 76. I'm not going to get too much into detail about that in this video. I might in another one if you want me to talk more about that. But uh, yeah, in this one I'm actually going to be getting into something that I just saw that came out in the Atomic Shop when I got on to check out this update. Which is our own freaking missile silo. However, it's going to cost us 1500 atom points if we do want our own missile silo. So yeah, it is pretty pricey. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video over me purchasing this and checking it out. For the first time i want to get my honest review about this and let you guys see it firsthand too on whether or not you want to make the decision to buy this in the end it is totally up to you even if i say i think this is absolute crap you can still just go ahead and get it if you want you know we all have different opinions in the end there is also a missile silo shelter bundle for 2000 atom points once again not cheap so I'm going to go ahead and purchase the bundle just so we can get a full review over this. And you can individually purchase something from the bundle too. So if you don't like the missile silo but you like the red computer set, you can just purchase that for 500 atoms. So yeah, keep that in mind. But yeah, let's go ahead and check all of this out now in game. Alright, I'm just spawning in in my custom world. In my custom world I have infinite ammo with no reload so it's nice also got the weather set to clear because why not i like the weather being clear sometimes i also saw that you could set the weather to nuke i said i wasn't gonna get too much into that and i'm not i'm not gonna get too much into the custom worlds right now all right not gonna do that we're gonna focus on this missile silo it's just a whole new world with these custom worlds all right so here it is this is the missile silo shelter entrance. Wowzers, this thing is huge. Um, yikes. You know what? I think in my custom world I can actually uh, make my camp building radius bigger. So let me do that real quick. Free building on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, camp budget. Very high. Camp radius. Okay, now we're talking. That's cool. Now let me go back in and place that. Just so you can get a full preview. I know there is a smaller variant that I can use, but I want to give you a full preview over uh, the shelter just so you know you can kind of get to know more of what you're buying before you actually make that kind of purchase. All right. Now, let's place this somewhere. Put it right over here. Boom. And I'll place the small one too. Just so you can check that one out as well. Ooh, grass is coming through it there. Um, I'll just I'll, uh, put it right here. So yeah, that is one of the entrances and the other one is right here. Pretty cool. Now, let's go on inside and check it out. Check, 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 check it out. What, what, what's it all about? Okay. That's, I'm digging that. I am, I'm digging the entrance and, you know, exit to the place. I like how it's a ladder going down. What's this? Wall lights? What? And of course there's a nice, as seen in the images, there's a giant just nuke silo chilling right there. Uh, but let's check out these wall lights. Oh, that is a neat little feature. But where's the button to launch this nuke in this place? That's the real question. I'm sure there is not a button to launch this nuke, actually. But, you know, hey, one, one, one can think it, right? But, um, ceiling lights? Okay. Wait. What do they look like on? Did I miss something? Oh, wow. It does make the place a bit darker. I'm going to go ahead and just keep those on while we're previewing. But anyways, carrying on. 
Ramp going down. Okay. Got little pockets right here that we could place some things at. It's around that time. Gotta say, I love pumpkins and pumpkin carving. It's fun. Anyways, uh, let's see what I bet you a Tinker's workbench will fit nicely. Oh, yeah. That looks good. He even has room for this to fit in there. It snugs right in there perfectly. Anyways, carrying on. Let's go take a closer look at this over here. Going up on the platform here. It looks like we can actually see below it right here. It's pretty nice. So this place is multi-layered. You know, I, I kind of figured that with the, the other ramp that led down. But still, neat to know that it is multi-layered within the shelter. Let's go ahead and have a look down here. More lights. And they actually make a difference, yeah. That's awesome. They actually have an effect. If anyone builds like a Halloween camp or something down here, you know, these lights, having them off will definitely make things a bit more eerie. Or heck, maybe you could do some kind of light show. Like have some eerie underneath the lights down here. I don't know. I'm just thinking with the theme of Halloween coming up and how they're introducing like the trick-or-treating aspect. But the lights seriously are a cool feature that they added with this shelter. I love that aspect of having more interaction with this shelter. But yeah, I like this. I really like how they made this a concept where we can actually have a missile silo as you know part of our camp that's just insane you know of course it's just for looks we can't actually launch this thing that would be crazy though but nuking is a big part of this game so this is really neat that they did this i like also how we can see like the cave around too i mean just looking at that from here just looks it looks good with like you know the cave atmosphere down here I actually feel underground right now, if you get what I'm saying. Especially with the ladder as well. Um, yeah, really like that. Anyways, um, now let me go ahead and get out some of the things that came in the bundle. Starting off with the elevator secret door. Let me go ahead and pull that up in the atomic shop real quick. As you can see here it is, elevator secret door. Think you're going up? Nope. Subvert those expectations with the elevator secret door as you can see the last picture here It ends with this guy like oh, no, there's a flamethrower there. I'm gonna die Yeah, that's what it meant by subvert those expectations with the elevator secret door, but uh, yeah Anyways, here's what it looks like in action. Go ahead and just put it right here boom and Bam What the? You see that smoke that comes from it when you open it? I like the way it sounds. But yeah, overall, pretty good. Let's see how it lines up with a wall. Not bad. Okay. Looks good. Now, let's check out those red computers. Aha, here they are. I'm going to go under the lights over here. Just demonstrate a bunch of them. Okay, so they do snap together. That's good to know. Can you you can make them curve too? Oh, cool. Okay, I am digging these. Honestly, more than the elevator secret door. I mean, the elevator secret door is cool. Don't get me wrong, but these just add so much. Yeah. These are actually, it looks like the computers that are down uh, below the Riverside Manor, uh, the Mistress of Mysteries headquarters. It's kind of ironic because, you know, the Mistress of Mystery is part of the Unstoppables, and the Unstoppables is the theme for the scoreboard for this season, which we're on season six right now. As you can see, the theme for the scoreboard is the Unstoppables versus the Diabolicals. And, yeah. 
the Mistress of Mystery is on the scoreboard, which I thought was pretty neat. You know what? Uh, before I completely wrap up this video, I'm going to go ahead and check what the terminals look like below Riverside Manor in the Mistress of Mysteries headquarters. All right, I'm just going to take this elevator down by using this Pulaski's Preservation Shelter. And then when I get down here, I'm just going to run through this laser grid since I got the Veil of Secrets. And open up this door. And yeah. They're kind of similar. No, actually they are... Yeah, this is what we're using in the camps now. I mean, they look extremely identical. That's pretty cool. Especially since, you know, it's fitting with season six but uh, yeah i guess that's a wrapping up this video everybody hopefully you found this video enjoyable and by the way i'm not on my custom world anymore that's the reason why i don't have infinite ammo and whatever but yeah until next time everyone thanks for taking the time watching and listening and by the way if you did find this enjoyable consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like that'd be greatly appreciated as always that's totally up to you just leaving a friendly reminder here at the end take it easy everyone peace